record. Okay, right. So let's have a look at today's workout. Um, so today's workout is made up of three AMRAPs. And with each AMRAP, there is an, a one minute rest in between each one. So you do three minutes of work, one minute of rest, three minutes of work, one minute of rest, three minutes of work, and you're done. Now, the movements within these AMRAPs do not change, but the rep numbers within the AMRAPs do change. So you're always going to be doing an alternating um, single arm dumbbell snatch or push-ups, whichever one you choose to do. I think everyone here has weights. So I'm guessing you'll be doing snatches. Julie, how's the shoulder? Fine. Are you sure? Yeah, just I don't feel like doing snatches, but yeah, I'm, it's fine. You want to do clean and jerks or something else that kind of involves that. I don't want you putting anything out. It's just about no, high movement. My shoulder's a bit better. So it's just me being lazy. Oh. <laughs> I would be all over the snatches. It's just the 15 is killing me. Okay. I mean, you didn't you didn't have to say that it's you being lazy. You could be like, yes, my shoulder really hurts. Can I do something else, please? So if you decide that your shoulder starts hurting, then move through. But if you want to stick with it, that's fine because it is only three minutes of work. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be doing dumbbell snatches or hand release push-ups. You will always do 40 double unders, 40 lateral jump overs or 80 single skips in the middle, okay? So it's those two movements that sandwich between, uh, the double unders is basically the meat or the whatever it is or the filling of your sandwich of choice between these two movements. That's what the, the middle will always be. And then you will always do dumbbell lateral burpees. So you jump over the dumbbell each time or standard burpees if you don't have a dumbbell, but I think everybody here has a dumbbell. Um, so the first AMRAP is going to be 20 alternating single arm dumbbell snatches or 20 hand release push-ups. Then you'll have your filling of your sandwich of your jumps, whatever you choose. So 40 double unders, 80 single skips or the lateral jumps. And then what you will then do for the remainder of those three minutes. So say you finished in one minute and 30 seconds, you will then have one minute and 30 seconds to get as many repetitions of a lateral dumbbell burpee. So you jump over the burpee each time or standard burpees. Then we'll rest for a minute. In the next AMRAP, the movements change. So you start with the burpees, but you only do 20. Then you have your filling again. So your double unders or your skips or your jumps. And then in the remaining time, you will do your dumbbell snatch. So for example, if I took a really long time on those burpees, I wouldn't have to do very many snatches. Then you'll rest for one minute and you go back to the original uh, AMRAP. So we'll go back to the single dumbbell snatches, 20 of them, and then the remaining burpees in the time. Okay. So that is the entirety of the workout. So when we look at it, it's only nine minutes of work in total. And then you've got those two minutes of rest in between. So this is a workout that is aimed for high intensity of pushing yourself as hard as you can during those three minutes, because you're going to get a rest at the end. Three minutes might feel like quite a lot of time, but in the scope of CrossFit, it really isn't that long. So it's about jacking up that heart rate as much as you can, bringing it down and jacking it back up again. This is a good kind of open prep work if you're looking at doing the open this year. Um, do we have any questions about this workout? Now is the time. I can see Vic coming towards the camera. <laughs> I've always got a question. I love it, it's like a crawl. <laughs> Uh, what star sign are you? Only joking. Well. <laughs> uh, um, I'm in a flat at the moment, and so I can't do skipping. But I can, I can um, go outside. There's enough space for me to jump. So I don't know if that's useful. I mean, you you could do that, but we could find something else for you to do if you don't want to go outside in the, the pouring rain. Um, so instead of doing double unders, you want something that's going to jack your heart rate up as much as you can. You've already got burpees in there, which isn't very nice. Um, so we could do, um, this is going to make Russell laugh. Um, you could do 30 seconds of high knees, like really intense high knees. Okay. Is that all right? Russell's that's like, fine. no, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you could do that instead if you don't want to go outside because I've, I can see the weather and it's not very nice. 
Um, so you would just do, basically you'd look at the time when you finish that first movement, then you'll do 30 seconds of those high knees and then you're into that max set of whatever you're doing. Okay. Right. Thank you. Any other questions? I will, uh, can I do the barbell snatch? Because I can't with my bit of a pain in the shoulder from my jab, I can't manage 15 that, kg. That's absolutely Some fine. Does that mean Jay is doing the 15 kg? No, she has 10 kg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing 5 kg. <laughs> no, you are not. <laughs> okay, right, that's absolutely fine. If you want to go for um, barbell snatch, and then is the burpee okay on the push? Yeah, as in it's it's it's. I think it should be all right, but it's just on that point. Otherwise, okay. I could I, I could have done like a kettlebell, but I can't. I think that will hurt it more so okay that's fine well, you can be fine but i'll let you know during okay the just give me a shout awesome hey, Daisy, on the dumbbell snatch how heavy um it's something about like 10 reps without a break or is it yeah okay? ideally it should be 10 reps without a break so you're looking at you're alternating each time so yeah. you're looking at speed so this is something where you want something that is heavy enough to be challenging but also light enough that you shouldn't have to break you should fit it but it you don't, you don't want to fly through, but at the same time, you want to feel particularly gassed when you're done. So if you think about the RX versions in the open, we'd have 15 kilos for the scale that's normally 10 or 12.5 for the women. So use that as kind of a guide moving forward, but you know what's a, a nice moderate weight for you. Um, anything else? Nope, awesome, okay. In that case, we are going to make a start. Um, we're gonna start off by kind of jacking up your heart rate a little bit. Um, the way that I was going to do this was I was going to do um, a kind of like a 21, 15, nine of skipping and walkouts to warm you up. However, um, because I've got Vic not jumping, you've been spared with that. So we're gonna go for a Tabata instead. Um, so we'll do 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off instead. Um, and then afterwards, we'll just add another thing, the other movement that I was going to do in to the main section of the workout. Right. So grab whatever you're using, your rope, whatever you're jumping over, uh, a spot that you're running in. And we'll do 20 seconds of work into 10 seconds of rest. I'm just going to get my timer up. Okay. Right, everyone ready to go? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Yeah, Verena, Jay, Julie's good. Marina's good. Vic's good. Just waiting for Russell to untangle his rope. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to be going in for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of work. That's it guys, great job. Nice Vic, get your knees up really nice and high. You're already halfway through that time. Nice work, just wanna really get that heart rate going. For three, for two, for one and rest. Okay, so in your rest, you're gonna put your rope off to one side. And then from here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna do three walkouts. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna come down to the bottom, back up to the top. I'm gonna to do three of those, off you go. See how that feels, Varun. Awesome, that's what we wanna hear. Once you're done, grab your rope up again, because we're gonna be going in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. That's it guys, great job. Awesome work everybody. Yes, we've got arm action too Vic, yes. <laughs> Imagine you're a superhero running away from a villain. We love it. Okay, and rest straight into those wall walk, those walkouts, three of those again. That's it. Nice job everybody. Just aiming to get your heart rate up and starting to move, warm up those shoulders because they're going to be doing quite a lot of work today. 
what with your burpees and your um, snatches. Okay, right, we're gonna go back in. Jay is already hating me. Going in three, <laughs> two, one, back in for 20 seconds. If it makes you feel better, Jaya, as I did that, my ribs just gave an almighty crack. So that's karma. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest straight into those walkouts. So three walkouts. Nice job, everyone. I promise you it will be a slightly nicer warm up after the next round. That's it guys, awesome job. We're gonna do this one more time and then we'll be into the nice mobility section of our warm up. Gonna be going in three, two, one, let's go. This is the last time we're gonna do this. Nice job, everyone. Hopefully you should be feeling a bit warmer by this point. Awesome work. That's it, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one rest, three walkouts, and then you can chill out for a bit. Hey Daisy. Yeah. I've got Arthur running in and out. Okay. Uh, with my skipping. So if I just do what, just normal jumps? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So we could do the scale version or the non-equipment version, literally finding a spot on the floor and doing jumps like oh, that. Yeah. Got it. Okay, right. Everyone feeling a little bit warmer now? Yeah, awesome. So we're gonna go into the nice part of our warm up, our mobility section. And we're gonna start off with some downward dogs to kind of warm up your calves a little bit. So just like those walkouts, I'm gonna take, uh, send my hips back and then I'm going to walk myself out then from there, I'm going to pipe my hips up and I'm going to push my heels into the floor. I'm going to do 20 in total, so 10 on each side. You should feel a really nice stretch down your calves as you do this. Off you go. So just at the top, pushing your heels into the floor. If you feel enough of a stretch just in that downward dog, you can just hold there for now. That's it, great work, everyone. Okay, and once you're done with those, you might want to give your shoulders a bit of a roll, bit of a shake off. And we're gonna go into 10 twisting bears, Varun's absolute favorite. <laughs> That's it guys, off you go. Awesome job. Nice, Jaya. Good, Russell. Nice, Vic. Good, Marina. Nice work, Julie. That's an interesting twisting bear, Jaya. Okay, I'll give you guys a few seconds to breathe because I've been quite hard on you this morning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna go for our tabletops. So from here, I'm gonna get my fingertips facing forward. This should be quite nice for me as well, actually. And then I'm going to pick my hips up and rock forward. You should get a nice stretch through the front of your shoulder. You can then come back, drop your hips back and rock. You're gonna do 10 of those. Feels quite cool. That's it. Nice work, everybody. Awesome job. Yeah. 
That's it, great work. Okay, and once we're done with that, we've got one more movement of this warm up before we kind of cycle through it. Um, I'm not gonna make you do the gymnastic swing, swim, although that's something that I've been adding in each day and it is making a difference, but we are gonna go for our swimmers. So from here, you're gonna lie on the floor, thumbs up, come to that middle point, thumbs down, touch your, your thumbs together at the back. If you can, come forward. I'm gonna do that 10 times, nice and slow and controlled. This should feel like quite a nice one because you're lying down. That's it, nice job. Okay, once you're done with that, we're gonna go back into our downward dogs for our heel push downs. But this time we're just going to do, um, we're gonna do 16 in total, so eight on each side. That's it, nice work, Jaya. Jay's got such good mobility, it's just kind of easy for her. <laughs> Jay, do you think you can give us a bit of that like flexibility, please? It would be really great. <laughs> That's it, nice work. I'm gonna get told off now. It's not me who is mobile, it is Russell. Russell the That's king. That's true. If you two just were to give out some of your mobility, Think about the amazingness that everyone could. <laughs> you two need to share. <laughs> right, once we're done with that, you're gonna go into six twisting bears. I'm being nice. Six twisting bears, please. That's it. Nice job, everybody. Try and get your hips up as high as you can on those table on those twisting bears. Sorry. Once you've done those six, it's do, do back into your tabletops for six reps. Just taking down the reps this time through, so it doesn't feel quite as long. That's it. Nice job, everyone. And once you're done with that, it's going to be your six swimmers. I'm not sure what the technical name is for them. I'm sure there is a proper name for them, but I just call them swimmers. That's it, nice job. If you want to make this extra challenging, you can go into that Superman position. So squeezing your legs together, lifting them up off the floor, pulling your shoulder blades together as well, back and down. Just adds a little bit of an extra gymnastics element to it, but I'm not gonna force you. And once you're done with your swimmers, grab the weight that you're gonna be using for the workout. And we're gonna do a little bit of work on the snatch, just get you used to that weight. And then we'll make a start. Told you it's a bad thing when I've got lots of time to play with. I'm like, yeah, let's do loads of warming up, <laughs> loads of mobility stuff. Right, because um, of my, I'm gonna call it the Matthew shoulder. Um, I am going to um, be on my Maraca weight. So, <laughs> you're right there, Marina. <laughs> right, we're going to start off with um, your dumbbell or your kettlebell on in one hand. And then from here, all we're going to do is hinge our hips back like we did in our walkout, like we did on um, going down to the downward dog. And we're just going to go for three deadlifts on each side. I'm just touching the bell to the floor each time. So I do my three on one side and then I'm going to switch and do three on the other. So open rules state that 
part of the dumbbell can touch the floor. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. So if you want to cheat it a little bit, you can have just the front of the dumbbell touching rather than the whole thing and have to hinge a bit more. It's a time saving exercise. So Varun, you'll go for six deadlifts in total. That's it. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go for three high pulls on each side. So you, if this is a particularly heavy weight, you can do a dip and pull. If it's kind of light enough for you to go um, strict, it's just gonna be pulling your elbow up and back. So three of those on each side. Varun, you'll do six in total. I mean, you'll all do six in total, but Varun will just do six. That's it, Varun. See if you can lean back a little bit more on that pull. There we go, nice. That's it. Okay, and then once we've done that, it's gonna be three push press on each side. See how that feels, Varun. That's it, nice job. <laughs> okay, right, so once we've done that, we're gonna do a little bit of work on alternating because these snatches are alternating each time. So as always, there are two ways that you can alternate with your dumbbell snatch. Um, you can alternate when the bell is coming down from one snatch into the other, or you can change on the floor. So the safest way to change would be when it's on the floor, but the fastest way for it to change is on the way down. So ideally we would want to change as it's coming down, but if you feel like you will not be in control of the dumbbell, of course change on the floor. So your options are, you can start from here, come up, down, then switch hands and do it that way. Or you can come up for the snatch and then as it passes face level, because that's open standards, you would then reach out, grab the other, touch and go. So this is a lot quicker and it's a lot gassier, but you don't have as much control on the dumbbell as you would do for changing at the bottom. As always, you only really need to touch the dumbbell to the floor, which works better when you are changing it on the way down. So have a go, three on each side, see what feels the most comfortable. That's it, nice work everyone. Awesome. So it's about jumping that weight up as fast as you can. As always, it doesn't have to be just a swing and muscle it up. You can drop under just like you would do for a power snatch or for a barbell. You can do exactly the same thing for a dumbbell as well. It might also preserve your shoulders a little bit. So it's something to think about. Okay, so... I'm gonna go through the workout again one more time. I'm not gonna go over burpees with you because I feel like that would be very cruel. Um, the only thing that I will say is you put your dumbbell down for the snatch. You do, you step back, you do whatever variation you're doing, whether it be double unders, whether it be single skips, whether it be uh, lateral jumps. Um, if you are doing jumps, you could jump over that dumbbell. And that dumbbell is what you would then do the burpees over. Doesn't have to be facing the dumbbell, you can be side on, okay? That's the main thing to think about here. Right, so workout. Um, I'm gonna share my screen with you again. We're gonna start off, the first AMRAP is with the snatches to start and then it's max of the burpees. Second one is you start with the burpees and it's max snatch. And the last one is start with the snatch and max burpees. But I will tell you guys what you're starting with on each workout. Um, would you rather me have this up or a timer up? 
I would say just nothing. Your beautiful face stop, and then you, you give us you, give <laughs> you flatter me, Varun. I do not look nice at the moment. <laughs> you, 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 you are so vocal, as in, you know, as in, I don't want to name other coaches, but you know, we don't need clock or other things with you. True, true. I might keep a clock up just for my own sake. <laughs> Just because um, we all know about my timekeeping skills when it comes to workouts. Like, oh yeah, that's that's. Oh yeah, it's time to go now. Okay, right. So in that case, so the first the first round and the second round are exactly the same. The first round and the third round. The last round, yeah, last round. That's okay. what I meant. Yeah. Okay. So um, I had set this up already. There we go. So it's three minutes on, one minute rest. Three minutes on, one minute rest. Three minutes on, done. Okay, so we've got um, a decent amount of time, uh, which means that we'll have time to cool down a little bit at the end, which everybody loves. Um, and it's nice and relaxing. Make sure you go hard during those three minutes. Okay, you should feel at the end like, oh my goodness, I don't think I could have managed any more of that. You then got a minute to kind of recover a little bit. You won't be fully recovered when you hit that next section, but you should feel able to move again. Make sure you note down the amount of um, snatches in the first round that you got at the, uh, sorry, burpees that you got at the end in the first round. Second round, make sure you get your snatches written down and then back to the burpees on the first round because it's a max repetition, okay? Are we ready to go? Sorry, did, did. Have you started out doing? No, <laughs> it's a 20 snatch, 20 burpees and then max, uh... Sorry, 20 snatch, single enders, and then max burpees, right? Yes. So your first AMRAP is 20 snatches, um, 40 double unders or 80 singles, and then max lateral dumbbell burpees. Okay. Right. This is going to give you a 10 second countdown, and then we will make a start. So going in 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two. One, let's go, starting with your 20 snatches. That's it, trying to keep a consistent pace, alternating each time. Really jump that weight up, punch it up as hard as you can. Once you've done your 20 snatches, so that's 10 on each side, you'll be into 40 double unders, 80 singles, or 30 seconds jumping on the spot, or 40 lateral jumps. That's it guys, hold on to it. Great work. That's it guys, doing a really good job. That's it, smashing it. Let's go Jaya, straight onto those skips. You're all 60 seconds in now. That's it, great work. Let's go straight in. Nice work. Awesome job, guys. That's it, hang on to it. You've got 90 seconds left. Loads of time for burpees. That means no one slows down. Keep going. You've got barely any time for burpees. Get there. That's it, guys. Nice work. Okay, you've got 60 seconds left. Try and get in as many burpees as you can in these 60 seconds, jumping over your implement each time. If you don't have an implement, it's just standard burpees. Come on guys, less than 60 seconds to go. You've got a minute rest after this, earn it. Let's go. That's it, Julie, great job. Nice, Marina, great pace, awesome pace, Russell. I'm not surprised. Let's go, Vic. That's it, Varun, awesome job. Nice, Jaya. That's it, hang on to it. Do not stop now. 
Yes, great work, 20 seconds to go. That's it, 10 seconds to go. For four, for three, two, one, and rest. Your minute's rest has started. That's amazing, guys. You hit that with the right intensity. It's brilliant. So your next section, you're going to be starting, apologies, with 20 burpees. So whatever movement you did at the end that you were counting the reps of, that's what you start with this time. And your score for the second AMRAP is going to be the amount of snatches you get at the end. So use this time to breathe. You've got 30 seconds until you go again. Everyone loves an AMRAP. It's all about the AMRAPs. Amazing AMRAPs. Oh, the alliteration. Okay, right. You have 15 seconds. So make sure you've got your position for your burpees ready to go. We're going to be going in. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Burpee time. 20 burpees. That's it, guys. Awesome work. Try and get these done. Amazing pace, Vic. Love it. That's it, Julie. Great job. Nice, Russell. Good, Marina. That's it, Varun and Jaya. Stay with it. Doing really well. That's it, great job. Hold on to it. Nice, that's it, hold on. That's it, come on. Let's get onto those double unders or jumps or running on the spot. You're almost there. That's it. Dig in and get these burpees done. That's it. Let's go. Let's go, Vic. Start running. That's it. Come on, come on. Let's let's go, Russell. There we go. That's it, Varun. Hold on to it. This is always going to be the hardest AMRAP. Just dig in and get it over with. That's it. Nice, Julie. Go on, Varun. Hold on. 90 seconds to go, guys. That's it. Nice, Russell. Great job, Vic. That's it, amazing work, everybody. That's it, Russell, hold on to it now. You've got less than 60 seconds to go. That's it, nice job, Vic. Nice, Julie. That's it, hold on. Nice job, 30 seconds left to go. That's it. Nice Vic, nice Jaya. That's it Russell. For your last five seconds, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, you are well over halfway now. And to make it nice, you probably don't have to do 20 burpees again unless you finish really quick. So you are going back to the movements that you did in that first AMRAP. So you're starting with the 20 snatches, then you're onto your jumps and then you finish with the amount of burpees. See if you can get the same as that first round. Let's just see. But this is your last three minutes of work, so it's really about pushing yourself in this time. I know you're all gonna smash it. 
Okay, guys, we're going to be going in 15 seconds. That's it. Make sure you're ready to go. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Snatches, 20 snatches. I know it's tough. It's just about holding on to this point. That's it, nice work. That's it guys, hold on to it. Try and transition as quickly as you can. That's it, try and keep your hands off your legs on the snatches. Pop it behind you if it's, a, if it's an issue. Nice job, guys. You are 60 seconds in. So as soon as you're done, get onto your jumps, your skips. That's it, guys. Hold on to it. Nice, Russell. Yes, Vic. So you've got 90 seconds left. That's it, guys. Great work. Almost there. Let's get to those burpees. That's it, Varun, amazing work. 60 seconds left. Just chip away at those burpees. Yes, Vic, amazing. Good, Julie, nice, Russell. Good job, Marina. Nice, Jaya. That's it guys, 30 seconds left to go. You are almost there. Just hold on for a little bit longer. That's it, great job. You've got 10 seconds left. Try and get in as many reps as you can. For five, for four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, everybody. Now it's all about just having a chance to breathe. That was pretty intense. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a moment to catch your breath. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run through a few stretches with you. Um, and once we're done with that, I will leave you to get on with your Saturdays uh, because you've definitely earned it. So first thing we are going to do, don't worry, all of these stretches are relatively static. You can take them nice and gently. It's about leveling your, your heart rate back down, getting your breathing under control again, all those sorts of things. So first thing we're gonna do, is you guys are gonna come to your hands and knees and we're gonna do our shoulder rotations. Um, so I'm gonna drop one hand and shoulder, thread it through, get my shoulders close to the floor as I can. You should feel a stretch down your shoulder and then come back up. So if you can take an inhale and an exhale at the bottom, I'm gonna do five on one side, deep breath in, deep breath out, rotate up, five on one side, five on the other. That's it guys, great work. Awesome job. Really take your time with these, don't rush them. That's it 
That's it. Nice job, Vic. Nice, Julie. Good for it and Jay. Nice, Marina. Really nice. That's it. So it's the five of those on each side. If you're waiting, you might want to do what <laughs> Russell is and just stretch off your um, your triceps a little bit. Just pop them down. You don't want to push too hard, but just enough for you to feel a gentle stretch. And then once you've done that on one side, you can switch over. Just while we're waiting, it's just nice and chill. I'm very relaxed at this point. Just gonna take this as we go. Oh, my ribs cracked when I did that. That's not very nice. <laughs> Okay, and once we're done with that, we can shake off a little bit. And we're gonna go back to that downward dog that we did in the beginning of the workout. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on that movement through your head and your shoulders. Um, if you want to add in the heel push downs as you're doing this, that is absolutely fine. It's whatever feels good at this point. So for me, in my downward dog position, I'm just gonna come back, head through shoulders, rock forward, head through shoulders. If at this point I want to press my heels into the floor, that's absolutely fine. But I'm gonna go for five of those in total. It's whatever feels good and needed for your body right now. If you feel something a little bit tight, just play around with it. That's it, great job. Nice work, everyone. <laughs> and then once we've done those, I'm gonna go in for some cat cows, which we all know about. So here I'm just gonna focus on pulling my shoulder blades apart, doing that angry cat position, and then squeezing my shoulder blades together taking away that arch in my back, sending my, uh, my belly button to the floor. So that's one whole repetition. I'm gonna go for 10 repetitions of up and down, nice and slow, don't rush it. That's it, nice work. Nice, and we should be feeling a little bit better at this point, a little bit more human. So now you can tell me, how was the workout? What was the best bit? What was the worst bit? Give me your thoughts. Second thank, second God it was only, thank God it was only three rounds. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's the best you know part. <laughs> when, I, when I read on the email, before seeing it on the sugar ward, mm. I missed the body weight thing. Yeah. And I thought I thought it is 18 minutes. Oh God. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. then yesterday Jay showed me. Like, why the hell did you scare me? It's only nine minutes. <laughs> well, I did check and I was like, is it four rounds or is it three? Do we repeat oh. each one twice? And I'm like, oh no, we just repeat the one twice. So that's oh. good. They'll be happy about that. <laughs> Thank you. How did you find? I think I'm guessing the burpees were the worst part. Always. Yeah. So I'm guessing <laughs> the middle round is going to be the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. In that case, um, 
I'm pretty sure you know all of the main announcements. There's the um, book in with a call for Coach Lucas and Coach Kike, just to kind of check up and see how you're doing. Um, as always, we've got the, um, the kind of mobility classes and things like that, and the weekly classes going on at the same time. Um, so just keep doing what you're doing. Make sure you book into classes. It's really nice to see your faces on a Saturday. I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, amazing work, everybody. High fives all around. High fives. Good job, everyone. Good job, guys. Thanks, guys. Well Thanks done, for everyone. How is uh, Kiki doing? Is he okay now? I think he's, he's doing...